Hello guys, we are back with another interesting tutorial. This one is about Bastion host. So we'll be discussing and uh, we'll be creating a Bastion host. How to create it, how to access some other private server using uh, with a, a using Bastion host as a jump box. So basically, hmm, to understand what Bastion host is. So assume you have your local host and you want to SSH to some instance or cloud which have your private IP. So basically you can't do this directly and even if it is the case of public IP then you can use your private key file uh, which is which is something dot pam in AWS. So basically, you can use your pam file or private key file to SSS to your uh, desired instance over public IP. But it is a it is a good practice to have uh, only private IPs and uh, inside your private network. If you don't use public IP, that's a good practice in terms of security. So what if you have only private IP on your instance? So in that case, what you can do is you can create a bastion host. So basically bastion host will be having a public IP and this bastion host would be accessible from your local host. That means from your uh, workstation. So this is how it looks like. So from your uh, laptop or your workstation, you will be doing access to your bastion host and then uh, you can SSS to your uh, private instance. So this is how it goes. So for this, uh, I have already created two instance. One is bastion host which we'll be using as a jump box so uh, this has nothing special uh, other than the security group so if you look at this security group I have given it the name bastion and if you look at the inbound rule so it has SSH allowed from anywhere so although you can restrict it to your uh, workstation IP or your local host or whatever the or whatever your local network is maybe your office address or whatever so uh, you can restrict it to whatever you want to and then uh, we have and this bastion host do have a public IP you can uh, you can make a DNS entry for this as well say your uh, bastion host dot whatever dot com and uh, so this has the public IP and we have another instance which do not have a public IP but it does have a private IP and uh, one more thing here to note is that the security group of this instance that is this one have inbound role only from the bastion security group that means only bastion host can uh, access the SSH port that is 22 so no uh, no one else can access this so we uh, we can uh, access this private instance through bastion host now how to achieve this so to have this uh, what you can do is you can use a proxy command so what we are doing here is ssh-o and specify the proxy command and in proxy command we are saying that use this private key file for the host and the port and uh, with the user ec2 so uh, this user is for bastion host ec2 user and uh, this ip 52.66. 
125.233 uh, this is the IP of bastion host see this is the IP of our bastion host and uh, our target instance is this one with EC2 user so this is the private IP on which we are uh, trying to do SSH so let's run this and see if we are able to okay so we have uh, got the access we are inside this private instance now uh, this is a bit complex command to uh, to make it more easier you can make an entry in your ssh config file so here we are saying that uh, we are giving an alias for this for our bastion host so the alias given is bastion you can name it like anything uh, the identity file is this user would be ec2 user and the host name is this so uh, if we directly do ssh bastion we will land up in the bastion host so this is our bastion host and as you can see we can't directly uh, we can't directly ssh to this instance from this bastion host so even if uh, somebody gets an access to our bastion host then he can't directly jump to our private instances without the private key file and here in this case the private key file is at our local workstation only so this gives us more security so i am exiting from this and let's go again to our config file and so in the next configuration i am saying that uh, whenever i uh, try to access an IP with 172 dot anything then the user should be easy to user the identity file should be this and the proxy command should be SSH bastion so again this bastion would get expanded to this definition and so on so uh, this is how the configuration looks like let's try this out so using this configuration if i directly say that i want to ssh on this ip i am giving the private ip here and if i hit enter then i will end up directly into my required or target instance so we are just uh, bypassing the bastion host we are and the bastion host also known as the jump box so we are directly uh, proxying this jump box bastion host to our target instance so this is how we can achieve this here you can have more definition so if you have some other host say If you have a subnet with 192 dot something then you can define it here user and if the user is something different maybe Ubuntu and identity file is maybe your private key file and the proxy command may remain same so this is how you can uh, create more aliases you can create uh, some more network or maybe some more subnets you can uh, access through bastion host so this is how you can create bastion host and access your private IP you can increase your security so this is all about this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching